The American opioid crisis is growing more dire. New CDC data show drug overdose deaths hit a record high this spring, topping the previous record set just three months before. More than 111,000 people died from overdoses in the year ending this past April. That's roughly the population of Springfield, Illinois. As more people die, advocates fear that eliminating the drugs is nearly impossible. So the next step might be supplying bars and restaurants with Narcan, the nasal spray version of the overdose reversal drug naloxone, which became available over the counter back in March. News Nation correspondent Brooke Schaefer shows us how Narcan is now available in more public places, all in an effort to save lives. At Four Pegs Bar in Louisville, Kentucky, it sits behind the hostess stand. At this coffee shop, you can find it in the bathroom. Narcan, a life-saving drug used to reverse an opioid overdose. People are like, wait a minute, you have Narcan? Oh, you put it in your bathroom? Shrita Walden is the executive director of the Kentucky Harm Reduction Coalition, a group that routinely passes out fentanyl test strips and free boxes of Narcan to local bars and restaurants. And the more that we educated people, they were like, I think someone was overdosing. I think they were in a state of overdose and I didn't have anything. That mission to arm our nation's restaurants and bars expanding across the country as our drug overdose epidemic continues to worsen, fueled by drugs like fentanyl, responsible for over 150 overdose deaths a day. In New Orleans recently, bartenders were given a kit with Narcan, trained on how to spot a potential drug overdose. In Nashville, more than two dozen bars now have these emergency boxes equipped with video instructions on administering Narcan. Push the plunger firmly. In Florida, a similar effort is underway. Wherever young people are, we know there's going to be drugs, and we know that we're going to lose lives every single day. In January, I tagged along with Project Opioid in downtown Orlando, Florida, as they handed out boxes of Cloxado, a nasal spray similar to Narcan. It comes in a little nasal um, spray like so, and you can actually just go spray right up their nose. Project Opioid says fentanyl caused deaths in Central Florida are up 172 percent since 2015. Scott Catroba owns six venues in downtown Orlando. We have a fire extinguisher and a fire. We want all the staff to know how to use the fire extinguisher and this kind of goes right in line with that. As bars and restaurants across the country stock up on Narcan, the overdose reversal drug is also on its way to stores across the U.S., approved by the FDA to be sold over the counter, including at major retailers like CVS, Walmart, and Walgreens. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.